we love, oh we love. Yeah. You would think we'd have a little slightly bigger budget for this show by now. But nah. Alright, there we go. How's that? Greetings, good evening. Peace to the gods and earths. Kings and queens, welcome. Wine and vital hour. Starting off with little Freddie Robinson. This song is called The Coming Atlantis. by Monk Higgins, who I love. Oh, the album is called The Coming Atlanta. This is the title track. What do you know? So they picked pretty good for that. What's up? What's up? Roll call. Where's everybody at? Long Island. Once again, my friends, Long Island. Long Island's up in here. Salinas, California is up in here. New York, Boston, Phoenix. Portland, Oregon is up in here. Redding, Pennsylvania is up in here. Damn, Wyoming is up in here. I love that if you're, when you're in Wyoming, you don't even gotta say what city you're in. You just say, I'm in Wyoming. Because there's only like, a hundred people in the whole state anyway. Much love. Rio de Janeiro is up in here. Damn. Nice, nice. Welcome. Good evening. setting it off a little orange wine for the summertime. I know, this is a rare Friday night, right? Robinson, always a good time for Freddie Robinson. He's got a couple good albums. I think he did like two albums. They're, they're both stellar. All right. Yes. All right. I can't remember if I played this yet. Mercy. Mercy, it's Al Hurt with the Harlem Hindu. my favorite Al Hurt song, but I think this might be the only Al Hurt song that I know. Who's up in here? Oh, Traverse City is up in here. What's up? The Cherry Capital represent. Yo, cheers. Cheers, Lafayette. To 
all my peoples in Michigan. I just saw uh, Gretchen Whitmer getting tough on the masks, y'all. Five hundred dollar fine. You better wear that shit. I'm so stoked. I know this is like a, um, this is a real cheeky, cheapy, but I absolutely fucking love this song, you guys. This is the legend, Burt Backrack with something big. Oh, man. Like a bit of sand that wants to be. Yeah, I fucking love this song, you guys. And have the things I really haven't got, and that's a lot. Hey, that feels good, man. Song on the radio. 
just like forgot how absolutely amazing this is. I mean, you can never forget how good it is, but I feel like in the catalog of incredible nonstop hits, this is one that gets overlooked a little bit. This is from the original master recording extra special vinyl from the Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. It's Hall of Notes, baby. Getting one side here. Let me see. Where was that shit? Okay. Yeah, that sounds a little better, right? Are we getting both sides? I had this 45 when I was a little kid, man. Before I could even read the, the words on the labels, I had this right. I used to burn this. What a jam. Sorry, let me see. Be like better sound quality. 180 gram, blah 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 blah. It sounds like a record. If you guys know me, you guys know my stance on 180 gram vinyl. I think it's kind of a, you know, to each his own, but I think it's kind of a rip off. I think it's kind of annoying, honestly. It's like he too heavy. 140, 150 grams, plenty for me. Sounds fucking fantastic. Hollow Notes. That's one of my favorite Hollow Notes jams, man. 
I don't think I ever saw him do that one live. Slept on. Even though it was like a mega hit, I remember my mom blasting that one out of the uh, the 88 Buick Regal Navy with Navy Velvet interior. All right, um, moving right along. Oh man, that sounds good as fuck. See, this this is probably like 120 gram vinyl. This shit's thin as fuck. This is one. This is one Arista. This is when they were cheaping out, pressing super thin vinyl. See here how good that shit sounds. Ugh. Mike Clark, the funky head hunter. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. Ugh. It's the head hunters with God Made Me Funky. Wow, you can hear I'm only getting one side right now. Wow, that's so weird. I gotta figure out why that is. The guitar. Oh, this is gonna be interesting, man. Uh. Damn, we're getting all down and like no guitar. Super duper stereo. Damn! I 
never even knew this. See, this is why you gotta read the credits, yo. This is why you gotta read the credits. Background vocals by the Pointer Sisters. Never even knew that shit. How many times I heard this? Greg, you can go, you can go uh, watch a different stream if you ain't with it. guys want to rave you gotta you gotta go go watch a different stream man I don't know what to tell you how we do it here we'll have a little another half glass of this and then we'll open something else that I really want to try out Fucking ramp it up then. All right, here we go. Vanguard Records, 1980, 81. PMP, Patrick Adams, Peter Brown Production. This is Rainbow Brown, AKA Fondere. <laughs> it ain't no big thing. It ain't no big thing, Greg. Alright, so some of you guys might know the Donna McGee version of this. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is the Rainbow Brown version, which is like, oh man, it's juicy. Some choice, uh, some choice.
Rainbow Brown. Ain't no big thing. Maybe I'll have to play the Donna McGee version some other time. I want one is killer too. Yeah. This is I haven't played this in forever, yo. Oh my god, I used to play this song every time I DJ. Baby, straight to the point. It's cameo with rigor mortis. about word up and you need to you need to dig deeper Got my new single I dropped up. It's called Rare Changes. If you haven't checked Rare Changes out, you know, at your leisure. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody, let Greg live, man. We're not, we're not canceling Greg. It's all love. Uh, every, thank you so much to everybody who ordered a. Uh, Everybody who ordered a wine and vinyl t-shirt, they shipped out, and you guys should have them all, like, top of next week if you didn't get it already. I think we shipped them all out. And there was, uh, there's a, um, uh, there's a wine and vinyl tote bag now. Oh, snap! By popular demand. 
more Wine and Vinyl merch coming at you. Thank you, Jessica. Good morning, Amaro. <laughs> was it not an 88 Regal? Was a four door? I think <laughs> my mom would have to confirm that, but it was definitely a sedan. <laughs> Yeah, kids, you know? We still got a... If you didn't get a wine and vinyl shirt, we still got them. So go, go pick one up. And I'm still donating a portion of every shirt to um, UNICEF. So, you know, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. Alright, uh, I got this one in the mail the other day and I wanted to play it, but tonight feels like the night, Friday night, and we're feeling alright. Ooh, okay, somebody let me, should, I got, this is the track, Larise Hudson, we're gonna do a little game right now. Larise Hudson, Feel My Love, there is the vocal version or there is the instrumental version, let me know which one you guys want to hear. And that's the one I'm going to play. How about that? The first one I see. All right. Raul says the vocal version. Vocal it is. Let's hear the vocal. The vocals are nice. The vocals are nice from what I remember. Larice. Larice can sing. She had a little piece of pipe on Jake, one might have put me on to this one. Thanks, Edgar. Oh, man, Edgar finally made it through. I'll play the instrumental another time, but I think the vocal was the right call. Shut your hand, dude. <laughs> have a Lincoln Park record. I think I'm, I'm actually re like distantly related to one of the guys from Lincoln Park, if you can believe that. I can't remember which one, but I don't have any Lincoln Park on vinyl. <laughs> yeah, y'all have to excuse me for that. Hey. Feel my love. Can you feel it? Man, let me see if you guys can see. I want to get you guys to see this uh, uh, turntable, man. This so janky. So janky. There we go. How about that? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Now we're drinking Lacoste, Rapazzo Bianco. It's an orange wine. Great for the summertime. Italian. But we're gonna open something else really fun right now.
Larissa showing off right now. She was like, don't get it twisted. Just because disco don't mean I can't sing. This is a really cool one. Shout out to my man, uh, Dante Carfagna in Chicago, man. He put me on to this one. This is Kania. Damn, maybe I played this one another night. But this shit is so dope. On Tammy Joe Records. This is Kania. Or Kanye, I don't know, there's no man. Let's call it Visions. It has got some killer background vocals. Sauvage, which I really love. This is a killer. And you guys know I love my chilled, chilled ribs. I got mine at Helen's Wine on Fairfax here, or they got one in uh, Brentwood too, I think. But um. If you're in New York, make sure you get your shit from People's, People's Wine in Manhattan. They got you covered. Oh, that's going to open up really nice. Wow. It's a 2019, a very young wine. And it's very complex for its age. Very grown, very grown and sexy. This is, uh, man, let me make sure I get the song right. I think it's Caveman Boogie. If we could. This is Lisette Wilson. 
That's a heck of an intro. <laughs> the album is called Now That I Got Your Attention. There's Lisette. And it's raining piano keys. That is quite the intro. from home. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. If you got, oh man, I don't know if you guys can see it right now. There it is. There's the watch. Up in the corner there. That's the one from the Rare Changes cover. Yeah. It all comes together. Telling you what, I started writing that new single way before COVID, way before uh, everything that's going on right now. I had, we had no idea, but it ended up being like the most fitting song ever for the times. So that's how it works out, you know, when it's right, it's right. I am extremely inspired, though, by all the positive changes that are happening. It's easy to forget in the midst of all this negativity, all the, all the bad things that are happening. It's easy to forget how far we've come. So, you know, we got a long way to go, but... out of us right now. Yeah! Let's 
Sarah Wilson, kind of dope, right? That's a sleeper banger right there. Really excellent song to drink wine to. songs like that if you guys haven't picked up your um, mayor Hawthorne vinyl slit your turntable slip mat yet too make sure you go and cop you know available now plug 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 um, I hope everybody had a good 4th of July it was definitely a weird one this year it was a weird one for a number of reasons Every time I think about the 4th of July, though, for some reason, I always think about Funkadelic. Where was that? Oh, my God. What's it? Well, and instead of the American flag, I usually think about this flag right here. So I got, you know, I got to play a little uh, Funkadelic for y'all. Happy birthday, can you chill out? Happy birthday, Katie. This is somebody's birthday every day. Everybody who has a birthday, all the cancers, all the July birthdays, there we go. I need to just record, I need to record some happy birthday, like, happy birthday. That's all anybody wants in life, it's just a happy birthday.
great segue. P funk, everybody. Listen to more funkadelic. Uh, just as a general rule in life, um, I want to play something really special right now. God, I hope this is the cut. This is the one. Oh, you guys! You guys! You guys! I've been after this record for so long. All my years of digging in Detroit. This is a westbound record from Detroit. All my years of digging for records in Detroit, I never once found this shit. It's Aramis Hall. Oh. I finally got it, you guys. I finally got it. The album is called Your Love Is My Desire. The, uh, the title track is incredible. Just Me and You is amazing. I feel like this is kind of the slept on cut on this album, though. It's called Will You Love Me Tomorrow? album cuts we gotta turn it turn it up a little bit because disco 12 the lonely album cut the deep album cut just can't compete you know issue out there somewhere where you can just play it off Spotify or one of those. It's cool too. This just doesn't sound as good as this. Come on. Incredible. Westbound record. Um, I never really made it past the promo stage. <laughs> yeah, Jake One was ripping on me for years. I know Jake One has one of these. He was ripping on me for years because I didn't have an original copy of this. Take that, Jake One.
guys. All right, man, Aramis Hall in all of its glory. Aramis Hall for all. It's a celebration. Uh, okay, I really had a, man, I woke up with like a craving for some Bollywood. I do not know what the cut is on here. I can't remember what the cut is. I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna play the first, the first cut on it. You guys know I love the Bollywood soundtracks. This is an oft overlooked one. That's called The Great Gambler that I really love. driver jams. The song is called Nights of Pleasure. If you checked, um, ooh, whoever just said uh, Gene Dunlop, that was a bang. That's a banger. 
Supreme Music Master 1975. Yeah, of course you would know Gene Dunlop. If that's your screen name, you know Gene Dunlop. That's a good one. Maybe I'll stop it. Anyway. Loose ends. If you, uh, if you didn't check out the Tuxedo 808 and Roller Skate mix, might be a good one to check out while you're sitting around doing nothing, not this weekend. And I do. All right. Um, by special request. Here is my main man, Gene Dunlop. Look at this album cover, y'all. Uh, this is spectacular. This is the title track from Party and Me. How much did I pay for that? $3.99. Maybe this could be yours for, you can still get this for four bucks. Ah. Production value. Capital record.
Friday Night Flavors on Wine and Vinyl Hour. Thank you, Andrew Clark. Appreciate that. The great Gene Dunlop with Party and Me. Capitol Records, 1981. What a magical year. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Here it is. Your mayor. Moment of Zen. I'm gonna turn the lights down a little bit. Turn the lights down Ooh. I hope everybody has a good weekend. Look at I paid I paid 92 cents for that one right there. This is Barry Divorce, and this looks like a 92 cent record. I mean, you know, no shade to Barry. Listen to this shit. If you didn't know this was Barry Divorce, then you might think this was Barry White. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I'll see you. Uh, we're, next week, we're back to Thursdays. Still matter. Fuck Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs>